Yeah, following free at MOOC, making hybrid learning efficient and engaging, uh, funded by Erasmus Plus project. And in this project, we have partners in Romania, Finland, Estonia, and Austria. And this is a model six, fostering well-being in hybrid learning environments. Uh, I'm Tina Mäkelä. I come from Finland, from the University of Uvascula, Finnish Institute for Educational Research and Innovative Learning Environments Research Group. Uh, earlier in Unit 1, uh, I gave an introduction to learning environment design framework and to some of the main concepts uh, related to both learning and, and well-being. And now in this Unit 2, we are going to focus on aspects that can, how to balance communality with, with individuality. Uh, let's start with the communality. It's, it's an important aspect that uh, can foster both learning and, and well being. It's important always, but particularly if, um, uh, if we work in distance. Uh, if we have remote periods and, and then when we return to school after being physically as isolated, it's important to pay attention to the quality of commun communality aspects. It has to do with first with the teaching learning interaction, um, how to create collabor collab collaborative environments, which can be both physical and virtual that, that support learner collaboration but also teacher collaboration, co-teaching and, and shared work between teachers. Then it's vital to pay attention on good social relations. And this can also happen both in physical and virtual environments that allow some, some sort of meetings and encounters. Uh, there are teacher learner relations we know are important. So are the peer relations relations with other staff members, with the direction, and then homeschool relations. And now during the pandemic, we have noticed that, that organizing online parent uh, conferences or parent meetings might actually be a very good way to, to involve more parents into the education of their, their children. Uh, another Communality related aspect is a sense of belonging. This has to do with creating a shared vision, our school spirit. Uh, we can think of different spaces, physical and virtual, how to, how to have different ceremonies and celebrations that foster this spirit. Uh, it's, it's vital to keep space for involvement and self-expression that everybody can be heard in, and influence and express oneself. This, this has to do with the well-being, but also learning. Uh, then another aspect are the uh, creating home-like environments, uh, supporting this sense of ownership of, of spaces. Uh, it can mean uh, creating homey interior design with curtains, carpets, pillows, and so on, uh, or keeping personal things visible. In virtual environments, it might mean having images, personal images of background pictures present to create this homey atmosphere. We know spaces for collaboration and gathering, physical spaces are very important. It's, it's important to have them. But on the other hand, as I said, uh, we can also enhance these spaces by providing virtual possibilities to encounters and, and collaboration. Then one more aspect related to commonality is the safety. Uh, how to make sure that there's no behavioral disturbance or there's enough control in different spaces and also possibilities to report problems if they arise. This has to do with the transparency that there are no blind spots in physical or virtual environments. Uh, it's also related to psychosocial safety, that there's emotional, cognitive, and social feeling of safety. 
for instance, uh, bullying prevention and intervention protocols may support this feeling of safety. And, and in, in general, it's important to have support personal, which is available both physically, but also virtually. Physical safety is another important aspect uh, that spaces and equipment are safe and there are clear safety instructions and, and that we are also prepared for emergency situations. And then this final element here is the safe distance, something that maybe we didn't think before the pandemic, how to create separate spaces, use various entrances, uh, keep these safe distances. Sometimes it might also mean rotating uh, that part of the group is online and part of the group is on site. And we think that we should not forget these lessons we learned during the pandemic because there might be also in the future need for this kind of a safe distance measurements, for instance, in the, in the flu periods that take place every year. Why not? Uh, then, uh, as mentioned, communality is a very important aspect, but individuality should not be neglected. There's an, very, it, it's very important to take into account the needs for individualization, which might refer to personalized learning, learning at own, own pace, uh, giving opportunities to choose ways and spaces for learning. This might also mean that in some individual cases, um, some in individuals might need to, to work from home, study from home, and this should be also considered how to, how to organize this kind of, uh, for instance, hybrid possibilities to attend the class from home. Personal relevance of studies is important that there's a connection between the personal interests and meaningful communities and environments and assessment as well should be personally relevant. We know that, that, that it's, it should be learner centers that supports one, one's own development needs and that there are possibilities for having this individual feedback. It can take place in physical environments, but also in virtual environments. Okay, then privacy and peacefulness. This is important in both physical and virtual and school and home environments. For instance, it's important to make sure that there's no noise disturbance because this is very, very negative for well-being that there's a soundproofing and acoustic to avoid noise. And, and when working uh, in virtual environments, maybe the use of headsets may, may prevent creating addition, additional noise in shared physical space. Then uh, we should think how to, how to avoid too much distractions, how to support concentration and calming down. This can mean, for example, using dimming curtains or or in virtual environments that we limit sometimes use of internet or social media, so as to focus on a specific topic. And privacy issues are important in both physical and virtual spaces. There should be spaces for private conversations, uh, peaceful corners or small and more closed hubs on virtual environments allowing this. And when working from home in virtual environments, uh, one, one way to, to make sure that the, the privacy is safeguarded is to use blurring or, or neutral background images when having a video conference. These are some examples of self soundproof design solutions that allow more private moments that can be fine, fine, fine in many schools. Okay, so this, this were the, the topics related to commonality and individuality, which, which I think uh, are important to consider when, when designing hybrid environments, fostering well-being. Hopefully you got some ideas that you could start developing in your own learning environment. Thank you for watching and listening.